I have parents that call me or message me, you know, behind their kids and say, you know, say that they are, feel so comfortable having their kids at our place. And that just makes me feel yeah. great. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Um, so I'm starting a new series where I want to interview local businesses, especially during the pandemic, during COVID, who can use our support or help, whether that's showing up and, and making purchases at their establishment or donating money, what, however we can. So today I have with me Gio. You are the general manager of Jim Sports Bar, what's now going to be Jim Sports, Sports Bar, Bar and Grill. And Grill. Correct, okay. Yes. Great. Tell me what what happened and, and how did we get into the place where you even were, were going into a new uh, location? Well, we closed the old location when the pand- pandemic started. Was that um, actually it was a couple of months, it was actually four or five months after the pandemic started. Was that um, by choice we or were that. you in a situation where it was just no longer feasible? I really don't want to okay. talk about that situation at all because okay. there's no. Um, that's the past, okay. and I, I would like to live in the now and go with that. And the new place, the new place we found is a better place. It's bigger. It's more in the middle of everything. Um, it's it's now a restaurant and bar, and uh, even though it's going to be the same gym sports bar, it now has food, and uh, the menu is pretty much set except we're going to be adding some wraps to it and stuff uh, to make it um, healthier for the West Hollywood crowd. Um, and you've been pushing to have food for a while now, right? Even before. Yes, we were. We actually wanted to have food before. We were thinking about taking over um, the old coffee bean, but that was becoming too pricey. Mm-hmm. That was going to be way too expensive um, to do that. So, I mean... Unfortunately, COVID happened and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But to me, it kind of is a blessing in disguise as far as the movement of Jim Sports Bar yeah. Grill. The, so, I mean... I, yeah, because there, I mean, there were plenty of times where I was sitting at the bar and I got hungry. And then I had to go to Five Guys across across the way or to another establishment. So, I mean, to be able to stay there and eat, too. We had menus. We were, we were handing <laughs> yeah, menus to were. people like, hey, you want to order a pizza? You want to order this? Or, There's Chinese food that you can order. <laughs> And then the whole bar, I mean, it was just, it was just like, it, yeah, it was something I was like, so you would see, you would see like, especially some of the kids coming in with boxes of pizza from down the street and stuff like that. But now, now you don't have to go anywhere. Yes. Now you, we have food and it's, uh, it's going to be good food um, and it'll be healthy. Well, most of it will be healthy. And uh, the drinks will always be the mm, same. Delicious and strong. People... People come to the drink, so the drinks will always yeah. be the same. So, um, so you've started to GoFundMe. You're fundraising. Is it seventy five thousand? That's correct. Mm-hmm. We uh, we started that to help us to help build you a new home in the area that we are building. Um, I just, I, it's just something that we we have to make sure that everything goes according to plan. Mm-hmm. It's a little cushion that we yeah. need, um, and we're very thankful for what everybody can give, whether it be one dollar or a thousand dollars, whatever. Whatever, we're very thankful from the bottom yeah. of our hearts. Thank you so much for anything that you can give. Um, it's been going on for about two weeks now, I think. Yeah, two weeks. It's it's going pretty well. I mean, seventy five thousand is a is a good goal, and it's. I'm, I'm hoping we can reach mm-hmm. it. And so tell me a little bit about, I mean, you referred to it as, as a home, the, the kind of culture and energy and environment that you've created in this place that's very unique in comparison to all the other bars and restaurants in West Hollywood. I love when, I, love when, I call it a home because it, it, is, it is a home for everyone. It's not just, you know, it's not just a place to go to to get wasted, which we don't, <laughs> you know. You get drunk or whatever. We, it's a home. I, I, I love when somebody comes in there for like the first time and you see them and like about 10 minutes of after being there, all of a sudden they let their guard down, they drop, 
you can see the like release from them because they feel that they're in a comfortable environment. And I love that. I think it's great. Um, and that's what we want to create at the new gym sports bar and grill. And it's a home. And the, the kids that have been coming to gym sports bar for the last 10 years, um, they know that this is their new mm -hmm. home. And, and, and everybody is welcome at this gym sports bar and grill. Um, I have parents that call me or message me, you know, behind their kids and say, you know, say that they are, feel so comfortable having their kids at our place. Mm -hmm. And that just makes me feel yeah. great. You know, I, I, I love one. I love one that if you're new and you come into our bar and you see me and you want to come up and say hi, please do. You know, I want you to be as comfortable as you can. Customer service is my main goal. It's my it's my co-workers main goal to make sure everybody is comfortable. At the and it seems like and even right. people who who go there as patrons, I when I went there and I didn't really know anybody, I mean, I had people, regulars coming up to me saying, Hey, what's your name? Um, have you been here before? Do you know this person and that person and introducing me? So they definitely have taken on that kind of, um, you know, family energy as well. Yeah. The people that come there are, are, are super, super great people. I mean, you know, you once in a while you get that one, but then 15 minutes, 20 minutes into it, they see that the environment changes. Mm -hmm. them. You know, they can let their guard down. I'm very, protective. I'm very protective of my of the people that come into the bar, my my customers, as well as my employees, yeah. the coworkers, and um, it's just it's just a great place to relax, you know. And now it's a great place to relax and have food, which is even better. So I mean, mm -hmm. come hungry and come thirsty. <laughs> and speaking yeah. of your coworkers. Um, I know I'm sure it's had an impact on them not being able to work at the establishment for a while. Are you able to to bring a lot of them over to the new location as well? A, a lot of them are coming back, yes. Unfortunately, some have moved because they couldn't afford to stay um, here in LA. So they had to move back home and they're probably more comfortable there. So we have talked to a lot of them about coming back to the bar and grill now, the restaurant. and. Um, Hopefully, most of them will be able to come back. Uh, we did lose a few um, employees to COVID, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But um, you know, and they'll they'll always have a place at our place in our hearts, at the bar and grill. I mean, it's yeah, it's I. It's a great team, and uh, it has become a family within itself, with not only just the people that work with, but with the customers. And that's what makes it great. What makes you want to come back there. Yeah. Okay, give me a quick little, you know, two, three sentences about um, what you want to say to people as far as donating and helping support your opening. Just that, you know, you're, anything you give, you're helping us build you your new home. You know, you're we're just very thankful that you're able to give, you know, and um, hopefully everybody's staying safe and healthy out there because we know that there's a lot going on. We're not we're not blind to that. Um, but whatever you can give, we are very thankful for that. Very thankful. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Gio, thank you so much for doing this with me. I know you had some technical difficulties. This is take three, but we got it. Um, and I would I think the second one was better, but why didn't the second one work? I'm just <laughs> trying to think. Why didn't the second one Okay it wasn't, I think the second one I had my husband on there, we were talking It wasn't a technical difficulty, it was it was a user error. <laughs> didn't hit the record button. Um yeah, okay okay, so I w I definitely wanna revisit this and I wanna uh and touch base with you in in the progress of construction and you guys opening. So We'll definitely do that, and then we'll we'll great. we'll get Gary in there too. <laughs> let's we'll, let's plug his show since he's got a new show. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, great, great. Um, his show is called Headliners. It's a virtual show. Um, his next show will be in March, March fifteenth, I think okay. it is. Um, he's been working. He's been working with amazing talent all over the country, and he's bringing you um, a live virtual show like you were going into a showroom 
in Las Vegas or, or in New York. And uh, the first show was really great. Um, such great feedback from the first show. Um, cause the people who bought tickets were not disappointed at all. It's called Headliners. Um, please like the page on Facebook. Follow him. Um, he's Gary Thomas at uh, yeah Gary Thomas, and he's on Instagram. Okay, yeah, GT- I'll, put, I'll put links. Like yeah, I'll put links to everything down below in the description, as well as the GoFundMe yeah, yeah. and the um, yes, please Instagram page for for Jim Bar. And okay, Grill. great. Yeah, uh, yeah. The Jim Sports Bar Grill uh, Facebook and Instagram pages we're fixing we're we're fixing okay. that up now and making it Jim Sports Bar and Grill. And then, um, yeah, if you can plug Gary's show as much yeah. as possible, that's awesome, okay. too. I will. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please, again, donate. Help support this local, um, worthy community home for everyone. Um, like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And then share this. Uh, the more we can get this wor- the word out, the more we can get people to um, hear about it and donate. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Gina. you very much. Thank you. Okay.